Hey everybody, it's Dr. Chen here. Welcome back to my kitchen. And uh, this is our rabbit. I just thought I'd introduce you since Easter's around the corner. Um, he is uh, part of our family. His name is Pepper. And you say hi. Hi. He doesn't really wave, but there he is. So just thought I'd introduce you. Um, I'm gonna put him back before we do the experiment, but uh, just thought I'd let you know, get to know him. All right, so for today, so yes, so the other day we looked at a couple of, um, you know, what happens when we have the pepper on the water and when we put sanitizer and soap in it. And and some people asked about, well, what's what's up with water? You know, like what's what's going on with water? Uh, maybe that has something to do with, with this whole thing and the properties of different substances. So I am going to, let me just lower this here. I, for this experiment, you're gonna need two dishes, one with water, so I have some water in here. And then the other one, I have just uh, cooking oil. I used to do any, any kind, this is canola oil, but whatever kind of oil you have, um, you don't need a whole lot of it. Hopefully uh, you don't need, um, you know, like, Shouldn't be too much, so you hopefully you can find some in the kitchen. Uh, you need a, a couple of sewing needles. So if you have one, that's fine. You just do it for both of them. But it's just like a needle that you sew with. Uh, so I have two sewing needles here. And then and you need a couple of tiny pieces of paper. Um, I think newspaper works really well. So I just cut little slips of newspaper that's... that's a little smaller than the needle and and then if you can have a tweezers tweezers are also handy um, I don't think you need them but they are useful so what um, I want you to be looking at today is you're gonna take the paper it's gonna kind of see what what ha what happens when we take this needle and we put it on different substances what do we observe and what questions do we have um, in thinking about these two things. So I'm gonna put the newspaper on here. So the newspaper is on, gonna be floating on the water. And I'm gonna take the needle, I'm going to float that on top of the paper, like that. Okay, so you can see that. And then I'm gonna take the tweezers and I'm gonna carefully remove the paper. So, I'll try to do this. Okay, so once you remove the paper, you can see the needle, I don't know if you can see that, is floating on top of the paper. Sorry, floating on top of the water. I'm with some of the this underneath this, you can see a little bit better. Okay, so we can now see that floating on top. I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the oil now. So I'm gonna take some of paper, put it on top of the oil, and put the needle on top of the paper, okay? And then I'm gonna try to remove the paper. And actually the paper is starting to sink because it's getting soaked with the oil. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this. And if you notice, the, the needle, I don't know if you can see that, it just, it's on the bottom now. So if you look really carefully, it's on the bottom of the container. And you can try this, I tried this a bunch of times. Um, I could not get the needle to stay on top of the oil. You can try it too. But um, yeah, so just want you to write down your observations. What do you see happening here? Why might you think this is going on? And then on uh, Google Classroom, there's a gonna be a, a document that's got some information about water and oil. And yeah, just kind of look through that and see what kinds of information can you can you figure out? Can you pick up from the internet? Um, and then we'll come back here for the next activity. All right.